Fake versus real Apple iPod Nano. This is a real one and this right here has an Apple logo and it is not a legitimate iPod. This is how the fake one was made. I didn't put this here. This is a genuine bootleg Apple iPod Nano. This exists and this exists. I made a video about this. It's a blatant and rather crappy knockoff of an iPod Nano 6th generation, but it doesn't have any Apple logos. This one does, and it's not an iPod at all on the front part of it. I mean, for one thing, I'm guessing this is a knockoff of the fourth generation iPod Nano. Because here's every Apple iPod Nano ever made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the closest is the fourth generation because the screen's about match. It's kind of the same form factor. Although the fourth generation is much smaller. It's rounded. This thing is just fat as heck. And I guess you could compare it to a second generation in the shape. But this thing's also way thicker than any iPod Nano has ever been. Unless you count the first generation which is still probably a little bit thinner and let's be honest way cooler look it's your mom's ipod so this thing the real apple ipod nano first generation so this thing here has like a weirdly recessed screen this is how it came to me this is the listing on ebay and the only reason i overpaid for that listing was because i saw what i knew was a fake ipod and i haven't seen one before or since not with this actual Apple logo on it of an actual not iPod. And I'll be honest, this thing has, let's just say, XXX inappropriate. It has corn on it. I didn't put it there, obviously, and I'm not going to show you either. I don't have an OnlyFans. I have a Patreon. Support me over there if you want. But this is fake versus real. How does the fake one compare to the real one? Yeah, plug it in. Um, it should turn on. By the way, I think the battery in this thing's expanded because this thing is like come up. It's not a click wheel, it's a, a D-pad, meaning there's buttons, one, two, three, four buttons on it, and not the click wheel functionality, because the iPod click wheel, you do this, and then it navigates. See, this is an illusion, these uh, iPods that I have here. While it is every iPod I ever made, these two don't, don't work. This one has a bad battery, uh, so does this one, so does this one. These two are the only ones that actually have batteries that hold a charge for longer than two seconds, so this one can turn on. So can this one. But let's be honest, pretty much every iPod Nano ever made is the exact same, except how it looks and what storage it has on it. This one has a video camera, but, I mean, pretty much, they're the exact same, except for the 6th and 7th generation, so those are out. Right here, what is the difference? This one has an on switch. This one has a hold switch, which is different. It locks the iPod, so that means you just can't bump it in your pocket. Turn it off, bang, move it again. This one doesn't have that. It has an on switch, so... Oh, look, there's your half destroyed screen, but it is turning on and it does work. And that's what matters. Oh, look at that Apple logo, iPod. Oh my gosh, it starts up. Musica, and for some reason it's in Spanish. So whoever owned this spoke Spanish. Terrible, es muy terrible, terrible, it's, it's, it's terrible. Oh, look, see, that's the iMovie icon. This has the copy paste software, except it has different icons on it. I mean, that's supposed to be the iTunes icon. I don't know that that really mimics anything of Apple's. I can hardly even see this. Is that like Pac-Man? Why is Pac-Man on here randomly? A radio. Oh, there's the iPhoto icon. Don't think that mimics anything of Apple's. The system. Is that books? I'm pretty sure that doesn't mimic one of any of Apple's icons. Neither does that. Is, are these games? Does this thing have games on it? Telefono? This thing isn't a phone. Is this like contacts? Does the middle button just not click? Again, the battery I think is expanded in this thing. It's like faulty. How do you even... Oh, you, you, you go up. It's not the center button. You press the up key. Empty disk, so there's no videos on here. You got your radio. These things don't have radios in them, except for these two. Sixth and seventh generation are the only Apple devices that have a built-in radio, as far as I know. See, radio right there. You need to plug in headphones for there to be an antenna for it to work, but they have radio. You got your photos. Again, I know what's on here, and I'm not going to show you. Okay, games. What, what game does this thing have on it? Boxman, Bricks. Color bead, Salida, uh, is that, I need a translation for that. Error? I'll be honest, this thing is terrible. I'm totally gonna set the language to English. This thing has a ton of language options on it, I'll give them that. What is this, 24 languages? 25 languages! So you can experience this terrible piece of crap in 25 languages! Alright, English. Oh, there's text. You can browse text files, which you can do on an iPod, by the way. See, notes. You can do that on an iPod. If you couldn't tell, this this is a lot better user interface. Game. It's just a game. Let's play Boxman game. The screen, it blocks half the game. What about bricks? Is this going to be just a terrible version of the iPod's brick? iPods have games built in also, and there's brick right there. Bricks. What do we got? Start. 
Oh my gosh, it's Tetris. Imagine going for their world record Tetris on this thing, man. The controls. You'd have to find a different iPod to do this on. Okay, color bead. What is color bead? Start. I don't know what this thing is. I don't want to play that. I would rather play fake Tetris. Yeah, so the games are nothing like what's on the iPod. For one thing, you can't have controls like this on this piece of crap because this is not touch. So the main feature of the iPod, music. Let's compare the two. So you got to play your music. Initializing. Man, it takes forever to load. Forever, forever. And now it's on a different loading screen. Did it crash? Oh, it, it's restarting now. Oh, good. See, if you want to listen to music on the real iPod, yeah, it crashed. Let's try this again, buddy. If you want to listen to music on the real iPod, you just press that and then you go into the music menu. You can select artists, albums, songs, whatever. So if I want to go to, say, artists, and, um, oh, look, Kenny Chesney. I can play it. And this thing, it's just boot looping at this point. Is it that whenever I go to music on the fake one, it just it just crashes and gives up? Initializing. Nah, 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 nah. It's crashing again. Third time is not the charm, apparently. Our fake iPod can't even play music at this point. Don't know if it ever could. Probably. Whatever deterioration of the components, it could be that the battery's just gone and it just needs the battery to be able to play music because if I do this... It dies because it requires this to pump life into it. The little remaining life that it has needs to be fed through this cord. I guess this thing does have a more fun startup screen than the real iPod. The real iPod startup screen, I'll let you experience it right here. See, it has an Apple logo. It's a little bit dim at first. Then it brightens up. And then it's just in the menu. Although it did take quite a while for this iPod. That's pretty much because the battery is just completely dead. Works with a bad battery. Watch. It no longer live. So now we understand the real one can play music, the fake one can't. Come on, boot up, buddy. Why is it why is it not responding anymore? Let me turn it off and then on again. Oh wow, that's the solution. iPod. Movies? It doesn't have anything on it, of course. And the first generation iPod Nano cannot play movies. But this thing is not mimicking the first gen. It'll be mimicking the fourth gen, which can play movies, but this one does not work. This one works, though. It's a third gen, which totally can play movies. There's your videos tab. Oh, yes, TV shows. You can sync from your iTunes library different TV shows you have, but this one doesn't have anything. None of this music on here is my music, but this thing is loaded. This thing, on the other hand, I don't even know if it has music on it. And by the way, that serial number information and stuff on this fake iPod Nano, it says it's designed by Apple in California. So, yeah, we're, we're talking about a proper embarrassment if Steve Jobs would crap this thing out. We can't do it. We just can't ship junk. Of course he never would because this thing is terrible and these iPods, these are actually good. Why is it off again? This stupid thing, dude. I'm not unplugging it. It's just d deciding like, nah, we're not gonna work right now, man. All right, turn on again, yes, do you open. How about another fantastic feature of this device, records. So iPod Nanos don't have built-in microphones and they cannot record audio, except that's not completely true. The fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh gen Nanos can record your voice if you have headphones with a microphone. The ones before that couldn't, but this one has a feature these don't. Is it off again? Buddy, I was trying to make a, as you can tell, it's not a very good experience. It could be partially because the battery in this thing is dead and it's just giving up. But even when these things have destroyed batteries, you can still use them when they're plugged in. This one, I think, might have a slightly decent battery in it. No. All right, buddy. Voice recorder. What kind of amazing audio quality can we get out of our Apple iPod? All right, so apparently there's 3 hours, 39 minutes, 27 seconds remaining of available recording. If I wanted to, man, I could use this thing as my microphone for my videos. Can I start recording? How do I start recording? Is it this one? Or this one? Disk error? What do you mean, disk error? Saving? Saving what? Is that the start recording button? Which one is start recording? Disk error. Every time I press this button, there's a disk error. Can I not start a recording? It's saving nothing. The number of recordings keeps going up, but it's not recording because it'll have a disk error. Yay! Oh, let's lower the bit rate. Maybe it'll work this time. Ah, uh, disk error. I think I'm doing it right. I think this thing's just being stupid, just like with music. And, and when that flashing is just on camera, this thing is crappy, but it's not quite that crappy. There's record, and then there's voice. So is this one listening to your recordings or something? Why are there two recording apps? Am I being dumb? Maybe I can record after all. I actually don't understand why there's two. At least this app doesn't crash it. All right, start recording. Format error. It's not responding now. This thing is like totally frozen frozen. Well, there it goes. Yeah, it's definitely not going to start a recording on the second voice app, so fail number two. And it's boot looping right now, and I'm not even trying to do anything. I'm just trying to turn it on again. Oh, there it goes. Now we're in the device. Yay. So no movies, no recording on two of the apps. There is an FM radio. Oh boy, will this thing work? Let me grab my baby speaker. I don't hear anything. I'm maxing out the volume. I hear a slight static. Oh, the headphone jack is like wrecked. There we go. We're getting sound now. Yeah, so this thing sucks because it's tuned to a real radio station and we're not getting any actual, actual music. 
Oh, there it is. I had to hold the headphone jack in a specific spot because this headphone jack is like destroyed. If this thing could even go into the music app, I couldn't really listen to music. If it wasn't evident from the appearance of this thing, it's a complete piece of crap. But the only redeeming quality of this is its Apple logo that's actually slightly off-centered. I don't know if you can tell, but does that bother you? I mean, they got the font right and everything, but the Apple logo is slightly more to the left than it should be. Radio. That's an L. At least it works. I'm gonna give it that. That's the best feature of this device, of course, apart from the suspicious images. Back in October, I did create a member video about this iPod, but I've gotten a lot better at making videos since then, so I figured I'd revisit it in a video for everyone. I post new videos every Saturday at 8 in the morning, and along with that, there's also a supporter video every single week. There's a total of 34 supporter videos right now that are just like the videos for everyone, except they're only for people that support me. And a big thanks to those of you who do, because in my current financial state, it makes a huge difference in terms of content creation and quality of the videos because I can't buy things for videos. I don't have money for the videos. And if you have any old stuff you want to donate for me to make a video about, MacBook, PC, laptop, MP3 player, iPod, anything, I have a PO box so you can send that over there and I'll likely feature it in a video. Until next week, drop a like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on this terrible fake iPod.